Hello everyone. When we talk about question number seven, it is state which of the following numbers are irrational. We already told you that any number which has an irrational factor is known as irrational numbers. So a rational number plus a rational number is always a rational number. While an irrational number added to a rational number or subtraction of a rational number will be an irrational number. This we have to keep in mind. Here, these are two numbers which are added or subtraction signed in between the two. So this is a rational number, while this is irrational number because there is under root of seven in it, which is not a perfect square. So in all, this will be known as irrational number because if there is one number which is rational and the another another number which is irrational, if we are adding or subtracting them, then the result will be irrational. Again, if we look at this, minus 2 upon 3 is a rational number plus when we are adding cube root of 2. Now, this is a very important factor which we have not discussed till now. I can write a number like this and I can write a number like this. There is a difference between these two. This is actually 3 and 2 to the power half. While this is 2 to the power 1 upon 3. So whenever we talk about under root, they are irrational numbers, but except under root, if there is something cube root, this is known as cube root, this is known as fourth root, this can be written as 5 to the power 1 upon 4. So when there is a cube root, then if it is not a perfect cube, then also it is an irrational number. Here it is cube root of 2, so this is an irrational number, so in all the total will be considered as irrational. Here it is already irrational number root 3, so this is irrational. Here it is cube root of 5, which is irrational number, so this number is also known as irrational. When we solve this, it is x minus y multiplied by x plus y, which can be written as x square minus y square. Now, one thing is very very important that when there is a square of any under root, so this is root 3 multiplied by root 3, which can be written as root 9. So this is 4 minus under root of 9. Under root of 9 is a perfect square, so it is 4 minus 3, which is 1, and 1 is definitely rational number. When we are solving 3 plus under root 5 whole square, this case again x plus y whole square, which is x square plus y square plus 2 into x into y. If we add this, it is 9 plus 5 plus 6 under root of 5, which can be written as 14 plus 6 under root of 5. Now, 14 is a rational number, while this is an irrational number, we already know that the total will be considered as irrational. When we look at this question, it is a square. We know that under root 7 is not a perfect square, but when we solve it, it is 4 upon 25, under root of 7 multiplied by under root of 7. So when we are multiplying it 2 times, it is under root of 49, which is written as 7. So it is 4 upon 25 into 7 or 28 upon 25, which is a rational number. 3 minus root 6 of square, again a square plus b square minus 2ab. So this is a square plus b square minus 2 into a into b. This can be written as 9 plus 6 minus 6 root 6 or 15 minus 6 root 6. Again, this is a rational number, this is irrational, but in all it is known as irrational. Same way we can talk about a rational and irrational numbers that uh, non-terminating and non-recurring is an irrational number that we have to keep in mind. In the next class we will talk about question number 8 onwards. If you have any problem, you can contact us or email us. Thank you.